What's going on folks? Thank you so much for tuning in. I was trying to uh, catch a, an epic opening sequence and catch a fish for the beginning of this little adventure and you know how that goes. Uh, yeah, didn't catch anything, but we're not done yet. Uh, I got a couple of other things to try. I'm gonna throw out a catfish rod and set it up here and throw it out as far as I can and just let it sit and hopefully find some better luck. But uh, it is, uh, whew, it's hot out here. This site might look familiar. I was out here maybe about two months ago, but this is my all time most favorite site so far right now in North Texas that, that I go to. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm up here on a really high, high bluff. Got the giant lake, Ray Roberts behind me. Beautiful sunrise and sunsets from the spot. You get it from both angles. It's just an absolutely perfect spot. Really quiet out here right now. So I'm really excited about being out here. It's gonna be a good night. Um, be even better if I could catch something, but it is hot. Uh, summer's here and it's been kind of raining on and off all week long and it was raining on and off today as well. And there's a few clouds starting to roll in, so I don't know what the uh, what it's going to be like tonight, but uh, it's 91 degrees outside right now, um, and that's hot, but the worst part is the humidity. And the humidity is, we're sitting at, I don't have my phone, I can't tell you, the humidity is at, at moist. We are moist out here. <laughs> you, can, you can see the air. It is just so thick, and it's like walking through a hot hot shower and not ever getting relief even when the wind blows it's just sticky and gross so moist is the best word that i can think of but and here i am i'm just wiping sweat away but i've been here for for about an hour kind of setting up camp i didn't show you folks the obligatory pulling into the spot because that's been done a thousand and a million point two three four five times so camp's already set up i was trying to catch fish didn't work out but uh i got a lot of cool things planned for this evening but what I didn't do was crack open a beverage, and I got ants biting me. Holy moly, they're all over me. Ah! I guess I'm standing in an ant bed. That's always fun. But, what was I saying? Oh, I was waiting on you folks until I cracked open a beverage. So, I think it's about time. An hour of not catching any fish is, uh, is beverage time for me, so let's head up to the camp. Cheers, everyone. Nice cold banquet. I need it. I need it bad. With it being so moist out here. Hey, let's see how many times I can say moist in this video. I'm sure that's gonna make a lot of people happy. Oh. Yummy. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know if you can hear me with this AC unit going. But that beer's good. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tonight because last time I was out here, I couldn't have a campfire because it was raining. But I brought wood tonight, so hopefully, <laughs> I brought wood tonight. Oh goodness, edit that out. I brought firewood tonight to hopefully have a, a nice little campfire because that, that fire pitch right out there, right, I mean, all you can see is the lake when you're sitting down. It's just perfect. So hopefully, hopefully the rain will hold off for us. But, I guess while we sit here, I'm going to rig up a catfish rod, just chunk it out there as far as I can, and uh, let it sit and do its thing. And then we'll figure out what's next. Where's my bait? Over here. They're so slippery! My <laughs> wieners are slippery! Man, what's wrong with me? Alright, that's good enough. I meant to go get some chicken livers, but this week's been a little crazy. Didn't have time. So hopefully, that'll work. Let's go chunk this thing out there.
know what I'm going to do if I actually get a bite because it's about 30 feet down and a whole lot of rocks. But I'll deal with that when I get a bite. Way down. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh, how am I gonna get him up? <laughs> oh yeah. Wasn't letting him get away. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. I hope I'm in focus. Nice. Yeah. That was not fun going down those rocks to get him though. Whew. I'm gonna go let him out down there by the rocks. But yeah, that's a pretty good one. He's fat. Yeah, this is a perfect eater if I was going to eat him. Don't you fend me. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's pretty. Nice. Thank you, bud. There we go. A little better look. Oh, don't fend me. A little better. Oh, don't you fend me. Don't you fend me. I'm going to throw you. I got to get him out. I can't tell you how good that feels. Kind of like a little monkey off my back. And uh, that one was fun. So uh, let's try it again. I've seen about two or three, probably eight to 10 pounders swimming around right here in the front of the bank too. Got my eye on those. I can hear thunder out there in the distance behind me and it's starting to get a little bit dark. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I'm pretty sure 
that uh, that rain's about to come in which means I probably might have to cook inside of my truck tonight which I don't want to do because I gotta fry up some stuff and I don't want to smell like McDonald's in the back of there but yeah, we'll see how this goes, but that storm looks like it's coming in. Well, folks, slight change of plans. Uh, I went ahead and, and uh, put everything inside the truck because I, I think it's about to start raining. And if it doesn't, then there's going to be a lightning storm. And I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, it kind of put a wrench in my dinner plans because I really needed a campfire to do what I had planned. So I'm gonna see what I can't come up with in here. And luckily I have this little table that I keep underneath my bed. But I did bring kind of an appetizer. So I'm gonna get that going in here right now. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too upset about being in here right now. Cause it is, it feels much better than being out there in that sauna. It is quite spicy outside. But for Appetizer, I got a lemon Caesar little salad type gizmo. Uh, probably pour about half of this in there and see what we're dealing with. But it's a kit. It comes with everything you need. Except some prunes that we don't need. But uh, I'll save the rest for my wife. She digs Caesar salads too. Let's see what's in this little kit. I got some Caesar dressing and of course some croutons. And where is my cheese? Where is my Parmesan cheese for a Caesar salad? I got some cheddar cheese. I don't know if that would be uh, breaking the Caesar golden rule, but I gotta have cheese in my salad. Come on. How do you open this? Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can definitely taste the... Uh, the lemon in that. That's good. It's real good. Stay. Yeah, I can't. I got. I, I can't help it, folks. I. I gotta put. I have to put cheese in my salad. Nothing like sharp cheddar cheese with the Caesar salad. Oh well. A salad is not a salad without cheese. In my opinion. But this was actually for tonight's dinner. Hopefully I can cook it. I don't know how this is going to work out. But, oh well. Uh, let's see. Where's my good fork? Just a standard little Caesar salad with with sharp cheddar cheese. It's in that dressing. Mmm. No. Cheddar cheese really ties it all together. Mmm. It's very lemony. It's good. Oh, I see what they did. The croutons are like crusted in Parmesan. That's that doesn't count. That doesn't count, salad maker. I need cheese. Don't don't be fooling me with uh, putting Parmesan on the croutons. Fresh Express. We need cheese. I'm gonna finish this salad and I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna make dinner tonight. Because, again, it, the, the dinner was called for a uh, like a foil packet, a hobo meal. 
is going back old school tonight with my foil, foil packets. But I don't know if I can have my campfire yet. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'll check back in here in just a little bit. Hey, you're recording now. Awesome. So you missed me dicing up my onions and peppers. So this is where we stand now. I'm such a goober. I forgot uh, butter to kind of saute this stuff up. So I'm going to just kind of mix these onions with these peppers. And I am going to brown up some of this Wagyu beef. However you say it. I know that's not right, but Wagyu, Wagyu, Japanese beef. If I don't cut myself and drop all this stuff. So, I've never, again, I've never had this stuff. I don't know. It's going to be oh so messy to get this in here. But, and I don't need all of this beef. How are we going to do this? It's got a much different texture than regular ground beef. That's got to be good for one meal. I got to I got to think so. Uh, I'll stick this in here. This is going to be such a mess. I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, hopefully it'll light. Let's cut that booger way down. And I gotta remember not to use this towel on my face. I've got onion juice, raw beef juice. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Spatula, okay. Wagyu beef, here we go. Never had you before. Yeah, the texture is not like as Bali? I, I don't know how to describe it. It's, this is more pasty. Which sounds terrible, but... Man, I don't want my truck smelling like raw meat. Just throw a little bit of seasoning. What do we need? What well, sounds good? I don't know. Slap your mama. Sure, why not? Not much, though. That's good. Now I'm going to dump in these onions and peppers. And kind of let that come together in one big happy family. I'm going to go ahead and let's put in this uh, spicy red pepper spaghetti sauce and do my best to let it simmer. This pot's really hard to simmer anything in, but we'll try. if I want more I've got plenty more now let's figure out how to get that in here I don't know uh, this way all right no 
man, this, this rag is done. There you go. Absolutely not at all what I had envisioned to make tonight, or how to make it tonight, but it smells good. It's good. It's not a mind-blowing, knock your socks off type of meal. It's just spaghetti. But I really wanted to try that Japanese ground beef. Yep. It works. I get a, I go to move my chair from there to there because the smoke is blowing at me. Now it's going that way. I don't know if you guys are picking up any of the thunder, but uh, there's definitely thunder out there. absolutely incredible. Man. I could sleep out here tonight. <laughs> if I knew it wasn't going to rain. Wow. That's cool. Ooh, that's hot.
night, gang. Well, it is, uh, I'm calling it a night tonight. It is just so muggy outside, it's unreal. And this feels amazing. It's just, woo! Welcome to Texas. Oh. So, I hope this uh, time, I don't know, I'm trying to do a time lapse. I, I kind of got some settings messed up, so it probably won't work, but uh, there's some crazy lightning, kind of like last week, way off in the distance, and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna show up. I doubt it though, but we'll see. Um, well, folks, here's the here's the scoop. Here's the dealio on this video. This is probably going to be the last time you see me uh, until next week because I got to get up around 4.30 in the morning. Or right, my alarm's set for 4.30 because I've got to get up, get home, go to the storage unit, hook up the RV, go get the kids out of school because we are going on a very special trip this weekend. A family trip. Uh, and I say family very light, very I don't know the right word for it, but there's going to be a ton of us. <laughs> there's going to be about uh, 10 dogs, including Pickles. We're bringing Pickles along. She's doing great, uh, pooping everywhere. So she's doing just perfect. I pick up, or we pick up, around 10 poop piles every five minutes, it seems like. So she's eating great now. But we're going to probably what, what most of you folks might consider the best Texas bass fishing, bass fishing lake in Texas. Uh, I'm not going to give it away yet, but that's where we're going and there will be a boat involved. Um, so it should be a, just an amazing weekend. I don't know how it's going to work out with filming with so many people there and a lot of people aren't as prone to being happy about <laughs> sharing their mug on YouTube as, as I and my wife are. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I have no idea. But I've got a lot to do in the morning, so I'm not even, I'm going to get up before the sun even thinks about coming up, so there will be no sunrise, so there's really no point in me talking to you when it's pitch dark outside. Hmm. But I got a fish. I, I, I forgot about that. I caught a fish today. Pretty nice one, too. So my, my luck's changing. And then maybe this weekend, I'll get my trophy I can hang on the wall. I don't know. But, we'll see. There was something I was going to do, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm terrible. I know it. Um, I, I have a problem. And I got my uh, dessert for the night. But, I like things. I buy things. And, uh... Once I find something I like, I kind of buy a couple of, of things um, from them. And hence, another I got another Olight. And I know I said last week I don't like the round lights as much as that Arkfeld. That Arkfeld's awesome. Uh, I got this one because, A, I love the color. This is the Baton 3 Max. And it's, you know, your standard flashlight. Um, it's got the reversible or dual side pocket clip where you can put it in your pocket or you can uh, even put it on your hat brim, however you want it. Um, but it's got the, the standard Olight modes. So, and it's super bright and it does have a turbo mode, which is crazy bright. Not that I would ever need it. I picked it up because it's got this little uh, bracket with a 3M sticky back. And these Olights have that magnet charging base, and this thing sticks to it. And I'm going to put it somewhere in this truck because I have 55 flashlights to my name. And when I need one, I can never find one, it seems like. So I'm thinking about sticking this maybe to even to my, my window because it sticks out far enough where it's not going to rattle against my window. But i, I got to find some place in here to put it that... You know, if in the middle of the night I need to grab it, I know where it's always going to be at, and I can just pop it off and, and turn this thing on. So i got to figure out where I want to put it. Um, it might have been better to have done that during the day, but I kind of like it. You can't see it, but I kind of like it. Let me turn it. I'm kind of thinking about putting it somewhere like right here or over here on the window just so I know where it's always at. But, I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do tonight instead of watching a movie. But again, this is the uh, 
It's the Baton 3 Max, and it's just, I mean, these things are built absolute tank. If you watch um, Such, what's his channel name? I don't know. He's kind of an older gentleman, but he's been around YouTube forever. I just know him as Such. But he's got to deal with Olight, and they send him everything, and he beats the living tar out of these things, and they still work. So they're a little bit pricey, but they're just good. I'm tired of buying junky flashlights that don't work, and these Olights seem to fit the fit the bill, fit the bill. But and this cool color is just sweet. Texas UT, you know UT orange. Uh, so we got UT Orange in the family and Aggie Maroon in the family. So that's always fun, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing with this Olight. But anyway, folks, like I told you, I like to kind of try to show you some fun things that I find. And uh, I did I did get a discount code for the Arc Felt. So if you didn't watch last video, look in the description because Olight contacted me and gave me a discount code. And I think I might be able to get a discount code for this too, which is awesome because these things are, you know, any, anything's good. I think this one's around a hundred bucks. Don't quote me. I can't remember what it was. Pretty cool little light. I just got to figure out where to put it. But anyway, folks, that is, uh, oh, uh, I am going to, I wish I could take a shower. I hate going to bed feeling like this, but I'll be home in just a few hours. It feels like. Oh, I am thirsty tonight. So, that is going to be a rapola for this video. I'd like to thank you for following along my little adventure. You can't beat this site. This is the most gorgeous site. I'll be here again in June uh, doing a little collab video with, uh, with another gentleman that uh, just called me up and asked if I would I would meet him and uh, I checked out his channel it's just a, it's a pretty small channel he's just starting it up so um, I, I he's a veteran and uh, he's just a pretty cool cool guy so we'll be out here in June I think he's got this spot and I think I've got the spot two spots down but we're gonna be doing a little collab here again in about a month so it'll be something different be something fun but I'm rambling there I go again I'm going to get to bed. I got to wake up early. So, folks, thanks so much again for watching and tuning in. Uh, these things are fun. I love them. And the fact that you guys watch them is even better. It's awesome. So, we will see you next Friday in a little bit different format. It'll be a family thing. I know some of you folks don't like the family videos, but I like going on family trips. So, that's what we're doing this weekend, and that's what you'll see uh, on my usual Friday uploads next week. So, that's about it, gang. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. See ya.